QuickBooks Online, the difference between entering bills and expenses. Hey everyone, this is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org. So here we are, a sample company file, and it this, this gets kind of confusing for a lot of people, is when you go up to the new button and you'll see for vendors, you can enter an expense or a bill. And oftentimes people get confused between the two. So I'm gonna walk you through when to use each of these uh, in this video. Okay, so first of all, the big difference between the two is a bill is something that you get, it could be emailed, it could be mailed to you, that you owe at a later date. So if, if a vendor has given you terms, meaning that, hey, it's due in 30 days, that's when you're gonna enter a bill and not an expense. All right, so I clicked on bill. If we go to the bill screen, you'll see here, uh, we put in uh, the vendor, we'll say Bob's Burger Joint, and you put in the terms, let's say it's net 30, that means it's due in 30 days. The bill date, the due date will calculate based on the terms, and then you are going to put it down here in your categorization. So this is the account. So whatever uh, you are spending the money on, you're gonna put it to that account. Okay, so we could say that this is meals, and for some reason they sent us a bill. We have a tab at Bob's Burger Joint, and you put in the amount, and if it's billable to a customer, you're going to put that in here. Uh, and then you're going to basically come down here and save and close or save and new if you have multiple bills. All right, so this, this way, QuickBooks will track this and you will be able to pay this at a later date. So that is when you enter a bill. So we wanna leave without saving. Now, the next one is an expense. So when are you gonna use an expense? Well, this is going to come into play when there are no terms. So if you just go spend the money, let's say you go to uh, Office Depot and you buy office supplies, $100 of office supplies, and you use a debit card. So it's coming directly out of your account. It's as if you paid in cash or wrote a check. You're going to essentially come in here and just record the expense. So in this case, we're gonna choose the vendor again. We're gonna say the payment date, payment method. All right, so you're gonna choose here whether you use cash, check, American Express, uh, Discover, etc and if you're going to put in the reference number. So oftentimes what I will do is when it's a debit card transaction is I will put in EFT here so that I know that it was an electronic funds transfer. You could put in debit card, you could put in, you can put in anything that you really want to put in here. But the same thing down here, you're going to put it into the appropriate category. So if we say meals and entertainment and we spent, 20 bucks at Bob's Burger Joint, that's when you put in an expense. Now, this will go directly into the checking account uh, because we're using the checking account here. And uh, if it's a credit card, you can change this to a credit card, whatever the case may be. But this again is when you're going to record an expense. You pay it at the point of sale, not uh, you don't have to pay it like in 30 days or 10 days or whatever the case may be. So that is the big difference. We're going to leave without saving. So again, the, the biggest thing to keep in mind is that a bill you're going to enter when you have payment terms and you owe the money later. And an expense is when you spend that money right now. Simple as that. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below and I will see you in another video.